Hi and thank you for watching and welcome to this last part in my Milanese Angel series. In this video I'm going to show you how I painted the little wooden figure that I mounted my lace on. So let's get going. So you will need your wooden figure. This is a, a 10 centimetre tall, four inch tall wooden figure and the details of where you can um, get those is in the description of the video. You will need some acrylic paint. Uh, this is all that I just happen to have, but uh, any sort of acrylic, um, this kind of deco art type, type paint. And I've got a metallic gold for the body. Obviously you can choose whichever colour you wish. I've got a flesh tone for the face. And then this one, this one's actually a, a, a stencil paint, but again, it, it's acrylic and I've got a dark brown for the hair. I've also got two permanent markers. These are pro markers and I've chosen a China blue for the eyes and a poppy colour for the mouth. You'll need a 0.1 millimetre uh, waterproof and fade proof pigment ink fine liner. You'll need a clicky pencil. This is a 0.5 millimetre with an HB lead. Then you'll need a, a biggish brush for painting the body and a smaller, finer brush for painting the hair and the face. Uh, most of the other details are put in with pen. And you'll also need a, a slightly darker blush coloured pink uh, permanent marker if you want to add the little pink cheeks that I have here. You will also need a tiny little bit of white for these little highlights in the eyes. And again, I used uh, the acrylic paint for that. So to start off with, you need to put, I put two coats of the gold paint onto the body using the, the thicker brush and then leave that to dry fully between coats and then leave that to completely dry at the end. Now, because you're painting down to the bottom of the, the piece, you might find it useful to stand it on a sheet of cling film. You can stand it on paper, but of course the wet paint will stick to the paper. If you stand it on cling film, then it'll come away nicely and you won't have little bits of white paper stuck to the bottom of your angel. So I've painted my body gold and I'm now just going to go over the head with the flesh colour and I'm using this smaller brush because I can get into the, the neck there. You don't want to put too thick a coat on. It's better to have two thin coats rather than one thick coat. Otherwise, you'll just end up with a, a streaky, gloopy sort of mess and you can end up with sort of lumpy bits in your paint. So you can see as this first coat is going on that you can actually see the wood in the head showing through. So I'm going to do one coat and then once that's dried, I'm going to do a complete second coat before I think about how I'm going to uh, paint in the hair. So the paint on the head, two coats on the head is now dry and I'm ready to draw on the line for the hair. So you can do this in a variety of ways. So I've got some different ones marked in here 
with just a different hairline at the front and I'm just drawing that in with my pencil so this one is more a straight front down to the sides so I can show you on a spare one so I'm just going to put a little mark just up from the bottom probably about five millimeters up and I'm going to just by eye judge how wide I want the face to be then following round the shape of the head I'm just going to draw a line going round on either side and then you need to decide what you're going to do for a fringe so I think here I'm going to bring a point there and then take that round slightly longer to the other side so she's got a wider face than this one. Once you've drawn your face on and you're happy with it, if you're really not happy with it, then you can just go over it with a little bit more of your flesh coloured acrylic or whatever skin tone you prefer. And then I'm just going to take a line from that bottom end and I'm going to have it parallel to the neck and I'm just going to mark all the way around to meet up with the other side oh yeah that other side I just need to bring that down slightly to meet it uh, I can see there that I'm just a little bit askew so there I'm just just drawing in sketching in until I'm happy with where it's going to sit and then when I've done that I shall then paint in the hair using my dark brown or whatever hair colour that you would like. So I'm just going to load up the brush and I'm just resting my finger on the head just to give me a little bit of stability, a little bit of... Um, firmness and I'm just going to follow that line round so you can generally take a couple of attempts to get it right then that other one there then working up from the point if you have a finer brush for this hairline that could be really helpful. I uh, couldn't actually find mine when I was preparing to start this video. Then I'm just going to take that around that bottom edge. If you've got too much paint on your brush, you can see I just put a swipe of paint on the back of the head just to take off any excess. And then coming back from the other side. Follow up that pencil line and then when the outline is done I'm just going to fill in behind. Now you can see this brown paint is going on really nicely because I've got two coats of the face colour as kind of primer and undercoat so I probably won't need a second coat of the brown but if you find it's not going on so well you can put that second coat on so there's my hair and I'm just going to leave that to dry I think I'll um, just tidy up this little hairline around the back here that's better
So I've done a selection of hair. Um, I've done all mine in the same colours um, because that's just what I've got. You can obviously you can have different shades for your hair colours, diff different shades for your skin tone. So the next thing is to put on the features of the face. And it's not quite as scary as you might think. So here's one I have just done. So we have two little blue circles for the eyes, a little bit of detail around the eyes, three little dots for the mouth and two little circles for the cheeks. So if I just zoom in a little, hopefully I can show you how to do this. So to take my face and with my clicky pencil, I'm just going to mark a little dot for the location of the eyes. And then I'm going to put a little dot where I want the mouth. So then with my blue or whatever colour eyes that you want. So this is my Pro Marker China Blue. And I'm just going to go round and do a little circle about sort of four millimetre diameter. It does look a little bit at this stage like she's got a couple of black eyes. Then with my red, I'm going to put three little dots for the mouth. So I'm going to have one just above where I'd positioned my little pencil mark, one to the left and then one underneath. And you're kind of making a little heart shape. So now we want a little bit more detail. So with my 0.1 millimetre fine liner, I'm going to put a little dot for the pupil in the middle of each eye. My paint is probably not quite dry enough if you really want to be sure to get the best finish then just leave your your figures overnight to dry and then I'm going to do the eyelashes so starting on the the inside of the eye I'm going to put a tiny little semicircle there then I'm going to take a line around the outside and off and just put a couple of little flicks there it kind of looks like a little bird then do the same on the other side Go round and off, a couple of little flicks. And then I'm just going to bring a line, not quite to meet, around the bottom. Now she still looks very wide eyed at the moment. And she's also missing a nose. So we're just going to put a tiny little semicircular nose in there. If you want to add rosy cheeks, then you can just add a little circle underneath and just sort of to the outside of center to each eye. So it's not quite center there, not quite center there. And then the final detail, which just really, I think lifts it is we just want a tiny little highlight in the eye. And all I'm doing is I've got a pin and I've just dipped the head of the pin into a little white acrylic paint and I'm just placing a dot on either eye. And there she is. And they all come out ever so slightly different, which I think is really quite sweet. If you want to, you can add a little bit of further detail again using the same pinhole pin technique. On this one, I've just put a ring of gold dots to make a little crown. And that is how to paint your 
wooden figure. Thank you for watching.